hi guys you welcome back we'll be talking about reducing the apk size users often avoid downloading apps that seems too large particularly in emerging markets where devices connect to often sporty 2g and 3g networks or work on pay by the byte plans uh we'll be talking precisely on how to reduce your apps apk size which enables more users to download your application first of all you need to understand the apk structure before you get to know how to reduce the size of your application an apk contains the following directories the meta information which contains the sat.sf and the sat.rsa signature files as well as the manifest.ms file which is the manifest file it contains the assets folder it contains the rest which is the resources of the application and it contains the lib which contains the compiled code that is specific to the software layer of a processor an apk also contains the following files among them is the manifest.exame which is mandatory uh, we have the classes.dex which is uh, the compiled dex file format understood by the davic virtual machine now what are we going to be doing here we're going to be talking about some specific modules involved in reducing your apk you have to reduce the resource count size the size of your apk has an impact on how fast your uploads how much memory it uses how much power it consumes one of the simple ways to make your APK smaller is to reduce the number of size of the resources it contains. In particular, you can remove resources that your app no longer uses, and you can use scalable, drawable objects in place of image files. You need to remove unused resources using the Linteris tool, a static code analyzer included in the Android Studio, detects resources in your REST folder that your code doesn't reference. When the lead tool discovers a potentially unused resource in your project, it prints a message, just like what you're seeing now. Note, the lint tool doesn't scan the asset folder. The assets that are re referenced via reflection or library files that you've linked to your app. Also, it doesn't remove resources. It only alerts you to their presence. You can also shrink the, the code using a library when you libraries that you add to your code may include unused resources grade you can automatically remove resources on your behalf if you enable the shrink resources in your apps build gradle file to use the shrink resources you must enable the code shrinking during the build process first program removes unused code but leaves unused resources then Gradle removes the unused resources. You can minimize resource use from libraries. When developing an Android app, you usually use external libraries to improve your app's usability and versatility. For example, you might reference the Android support library to improve the user experience on older devices, or you could use the Google Play services to retrieve automatic translations from text within your app. If a library was designed for a server or desktop, it can include many objects and methods that your app doesn't need. To include only the parts of the library that your app needs, you can edit the library's file if the license allows you to modify the library. You can also use an alternative mobile-friendly library to add specific functionality to your app. You need to support only specific densities. Support and to support a very large set of devices encompassing a variety of screen densities in android 4.4 which is api level 19 and higher the framework support various densities ldpi mdpi tvdpi hdpi xhdpi xs hdpi xxx hdpi although android supports all these densities you don't need to export your rasterized assets to each density you need to reduce animation frames frame by frame animations can drastically increase the size of your apk looking 
precisely on what you're seeing now uh, for each frame that you have to the animation you you increase the number of images stored in the apk so you need to reduce animation frames you need to use drawable objects some images don't require a static image resource the framework can dynamically draw the image at runtime instead use the drawable object shape in xml this can take up a tiny amount of space in your apk in addition xml drawable objects produce monochromatic images compliant with material design guidelines reuse resources you can include a separate resource for variations of an image such as tinted shaded or rotated version of the same image uh android recommends that you, you reuse the same set of resources customizing them as needed at runtime android provides several utilities to change the color of an asset either using the android tint and tint mode attributes on android 5.0 which is api level 21 and higher for lower versions of the platform you use the color filter class the render from code you can also reduce your apk size by procedurally rendering your images procedural rendering frees up space because you no longer store an image file in your apk try to crunch png files the aapt tool can optimize the image resources placed in the rest drawable with lossless compression during the build process for example the aapt tool can convert a true color png that does not require more than 256 colors to an 8-bit png with a color palette doing so doing so results in an image of equal quality but a smaller footprint so you need to uh set the crunch enabled to false in the aapt options compress png and jpeg files you can reduce the png file size without losing image quality using tools like the png crush the png quant or the Zup flip png all of these tools can reduce png file size while preserving image quality use the web p file format instead of using png or jpeg files you can also use the web p file format for your images the web p format provides loosey compression like the jpeg as well as transparency like png but can provide better compression than either jpeg or png use vector graphics you can use vector graphics to create resolution independent icons and other scalable media using these graphics can greatly reduce your apk footprint vector images are represented in android as vector drawable objects with a vector drawable object a hundred byte file can generate a sharp image the size of the screen you reduce your native and java code there are several methods you can use to reduce the size of the java and native code base in your app we remove unnecessary generator code make sure to understand the footprint of any code which is automatically generated for example many protocol buffer tools generate an excessive number of methods and classes which can double or triple the size of your app remove enumerations a single enum can add about 1.0 to 1.4 kb of size to your apps classes.dex file these additions can quickly accumulate for complex system or shared libraries if possible consider using the at int def annotation and program to strip enumerations out and convert them to integers this type conversion preserves all of the type safety benefits of enums reduce the size of native binaries if your app uses native code and android ndk you can also reduce the size of your app by optimizing your code two useful techniques are removing debug symbols and not extracting native libraries your apk can contain content that users download but never use like regional or language information to create a minimal download for your users you can segment your app into several apks differentiated by factors 
such as screen size or GPU texture support. When a user downloads your app, the device receives the correct APK based on the device's features and settings. This way, devices don't receive assets for features that the users don't have. For example, if a user has a HDPI device, they don't need XXX HDPI resources that you might include for devices with higher density displays. With all this analysis, and if you as a developer utilize, if not 50% of all what I've explained here, you will get to say that your APK will be really moderate and it's going to actually be easy and be attractive for users to download. Take heed of all the steps and don't. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.